I'm Eric, and at the age of 40, I walked away from a corporate desk job with all the benefits you could ever ask for and decided to roll the dice, bet on myself, and start a resale company. I buy storage lockers. Let's see what this does. Oh, it's signed. I go to live auctions. $30, $30, $29, I go on private picks. Quite a bit of stuff. Um... And so much more. So come along for the ride as I build this resale company from the ground up. And now, let's get to another episode of Reliable Resale. What's going on guys? My name is Eric. I'm from ReliableResellers.net and thanks a lot for coming back to another video. I've got some cool video games to show you. We went back over to see the viewer of the YouTube channel. Um, she lives about an hour, hour and a half north of us. We got all those. We spent uh, 3500 bucks. Bought all those games from her last time around. If you guys remember a couple videos ago. Anyway, so we went back to buy a few more games from her. They're not... Um, there aren't any extremely high value uh, games this time around because we bought them all last time. But she does have a ton of games left. A lot of Nintendo games, Sega games, Super Nintendo games. So that's what I have for you today. Uh, so let's do it. All right, so here's all the video games. Um, there's nothing here that's super spectacular like there was in the last one that we did with her. Um, you know, where there was a few games that were you know, almost $1,500 after it was all said and done. A couple of those games um, were really, really expensive. Um, you know, the, that, there was one of those, one or two of those Ren and Stimpy games that were really expensive. Uh, we have two Ren and Stimpy games this time, but they're not, I mean, they're still, you know, expensive games, you know, um, in terms of being, you know, closer to a hundred bucks a piece or so, I think roughly. They're just not, you know, $1,500 a piece. Um, we do have, um, so we'll just go down the list here. We've got some Sega games, um, really kind of more lower end. I think one or two of them might be okay, but you know, we're talking like Madden games and stuff, you know, so these will just be games that I'm gonna put back. Um, we'll, we'll get a console from her later um, and then we'll pair all that stuff up with the console um, some decent um, super nintendo games nothing uh, really really great but you know some decent titles and then you know, right here is a big old box full of nintendo games um, she has a ton ton more nintendo games and you know we'll probably buy them from her if we you know keep doing it like this so uh anyway um you know they're not insanely expensive titles i mean there's some games in here i think are worth a you know a couple bucks but um you know for the most part they're just kind of lower end nintendo games for the most part um so anyway let's um let's go through the box of actually here let's uh let's just knock this out real quick so uh just i'll just show you real quick the sega games so um right we're talking um prime time here you got John Madden football. I think that might even be the first one. Maybe it's it's in the, the um, paper box. It's not you know one of the hard plastic boxes like the the Sega's old, old Sega games. Um, and here you got Madden '97. And there's Madden '92. And then over here, right, you've got Andretti Racing, PGA European Tour. A couple of these might be, you know, um, I, I don't remember off the top of my head what, what any of these games were worth, but um, so here's uh, Zero Tolerance, Land Stalker, Altered Beast, and Sword of Sodan. All right, so uh, let me uh, put these away here, and then we'll move on to the to the. Actually, we'll we'll do these. All right, I'm gonna. Just start pulling some games out and I'll show you as we go. Uh, let's see. Stealth. Do, 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 do. Smash TV. This one has the instruction booklet. Cool. Star Tropics. Eight Eyes. Zelda's Revenge. Star Tropics 2. Uh, put those two together. Okay. Uh, they're stuck here. Uh, so we got Friday the 13th, Defender of the Crown, Destination Earth Star, Desert Commander, uh, Dungeon Magic, Double Dragon 2. I played the hell out of this game when I was younger. 
do. I played a lot of these games, uh, actually. <clears throat> uh, Silent Service. Batman. Bad News Baseball. Battle of Olympus. Uh, Archon? 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 Not really sure. Amagon? I guess I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. What's up with these names? I don't know. Um, I have no idea. You can read that. <laughs> I don't know. Make myself look dumb. I'm dumber. Uh, Street Fighter 2010, the final fight. Tombs and Treasure. Another stack here. Uh, don't know. Z A N A C. Zanak. Zanak. I don't know. Dino Wars. Deadly Towers. Dragon Warrior. Daydreaming Davy. California Games. A bunch more in here. Captain Planet and the Planeteers. Cobra Triangle. Battletoads. Battletoads. That was a fun game. Uh, Spy vs. Spy. <clears throat> uh, Mendel Palace. Legacy of the Wizard. Knight Rider. We got Jaws. And Jackal. Jackal was an oddly fun game at times. Um, Infiltrator. And Hide Lied. Right, a couple more in the box here. So we got da, 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 Swords and Serpents. Super Spike Volleyball, V Ball. Solar Jetman. Solomon's Key. Super Glove Ball. Renegade. Renegade, yeah. Renegade 3, I thought maybe, but it's just Renegade. Uh, Rygar. I don't even know if there was a Renegade 3. I just thought maybe those windows, it almost looked like it was Renegade 3, 1, 2, 3. I don't know, maybe I'm looking too much into it. Um, Yoshi's Cookie, and that one also has the instruction booklet in there with it. That's nice. Xenophobe. Willow. Hey, Top Gun. Everybody had a copy of that game. It was a fun game. Silver Surfer. Uh, Twin Cobra. Nightshade. Narc. No one had the guts until now. Uh, let's see, four more Nintendo games. The Adventures of Rocky and Bullwinkle and Friends. Rocket Ranger. Robo Warrior. And Platoon. Platoon. All right. That's a nice stack of video games. Uh, she has a ton, ton more too. So um, hopefully we can maybe buy the rest of them from her eventually. Um, all right, I'm going to put those back in the box here, and then we'll go wrap it up with uh, the Super Nintendo games. Let's do it. I don't remember how much these games were worth. I did look them up, but um, they're not, again, they're not super expensive. I think there's a couple of them in here that might be 100 bucks or more. I'm pretty sure. Um, anyway, so we'll just go through them. Um, so here's the two Ren and Stimpy games this time around. So it's, and everything is in there. Um, Ren and Stimpy um, Show Time Warp. And then uh, over here, you've got uh, Ren and Stimpy Vidiots. Vidiots. Um, and then you've got, you know, games like this. So you've got, you know, here's Goal. Um, and then here's the tennis game. Um, but then here you got like your Space Ace. And then Super Slam Dunk. 
And then uh, WrestleMania. King Arthur's World. Um, Young Merlin. We've got Plock. P L O K Plock. We got Operation Logic Bomb. And the very last game we got this time around is Monopoly. So. Not a bad haul, right? Um, so uh, this time around, we paid 500 bucks for this stuff. So, um, you know, we didn't steal it, but we didn't also, um, you know, we'll do all right. I have to get all of this stuff now listed up over on eBay and, um, you know, see what we're going to do. So we should double up or so roughly, you know, we're not going to make a killing on this one, uh, but that's all right. Um, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll make some money, pay some bills with it. Um, anyway, guys, thanks a lot for watching. That's all I have for you right now. So um, like, comment, subscribe, all the YouTube stuff down below. If you want to and come back tomorrow, we'll do something else. Bye y'all.